All right. Uh, in this video, we are going to uh, create an account uh, with GitHub and uh, also install Git and generally get everything set up and running so that we can use Git. Um, now, just a, a brief background. Uh, Git is a what's known as a version control system, uh, and it's a tool for um, software development where you're writing code, you're changing things a lot, and uh, you want to be able to keep track of the different versions that you've had um, so that you can understand what has changed, just so you can go back if you make a mistake. Uh, and it's really something that you, you really need uh, when writing software just to kind of stay sane. Um, so just, I guess for now, take my word for it. This is something you want to have. Uh, and we'll get set up and running, and then eventually you'll be able to see for yourself why it's so powerful. So the first thing we're going to do um, is to create an account at GitHub. So to open up your web browser, um, and uh, when that opens up, you're going to go to github.com. Uh, now, GitHub is a web service that will host um, code for you in a Git repository. Um, so the way this is going to work eventually is that you'll have Git running locally on your computer, uh, and then you'll also have repositories remotely on GitHub. Uh, so you can maintain in your local repository some history uh, about uh, which changes have been made, um, and then for added security, and also if you need to collaborate with other people, uh, you can push those changes to GitHub. So right now we're just going to create an account. I already have an account here. I'm going to log out from that um, just to show you how this works. So what you want to do is uh, let's see, go to plans, pricing, and sign up. Uh, now you can host things that are publicly available for free. Uh, if you want to keep your code private, you do actually need to pay. Uh, I'm going to just go for now with things public. I'm not creating anything of great value uh, that I'm too worried about. Um, so we will just, um, excuse me, over here on the right, create a free account. And username here. You can put whatever you want, email address. Excuse me. Maybe we'll create an account. Now, that's all there is to that. Now, I want to point out that uh, this um, GitHub bootcamp screen, uh, GitHub itself does have a lot of very helpful, very detailed, and friendly instructions that you can follow. And I encourage you, in addition to this video, to take a look at those. Um, what we're going to do right now um, is leave GitHub uh, and just download and install Git. And it happens that that is included, instructions for how to do that are included in this setup Git step. So we'll go look in there. Um, these again are good instructions for you to follow. We're going to go through some of these in our own style uh, in other videos. Um, but for now, we just want to download Git for Windows, uh, since, since I'm using Windows. Um, and here, you know, there's, a, there's some various things available. You have to kind of pick the one that makes sense. Um, here we can say uh, full installer for official Git for Windows. Well, that sounds good. It seems to be the most recent one. So we'll pick that. And here again is the actual file to download. And we will actually, let's see. There we go. Um, and there it is. So when this finishes downloading, uh, we can open it up. And when this opens, it will be a Git installer. And I seem to have confused my browser. Let's see. Now, I did download this earlier, so let's just see if perhaps... Uh, we can... Let's just take a look at this, perhaps. Yeah, that's fine. I downloaded this before. 
four. So we'll just open it. The point is to just open that downloaded git file. And uh, I think that will run. OK, now this is showing us a, a warning. Uh, we'll go ahead and run, run this installer. I don't need this downloads tab anymore. And uh, it's again going to ask, are we really sure? Yes, we will use these git guys. And um, oh, excuse me. Or those, so you'll see this git set up a wizard, uh, and then you just want to click next and next, and um, that is a perfectly reasonable directory. Uh, I think you can just stick with the the defaults all the way through here, and I would like something in the start menu. This is also reasonable. Keep the default. Keep the default, and uh, just allow this to install. And I'm going to pause the recording here. I don't think you need to see this installation, but when this finishes, um, we will pick up again. OK, um, so we're back. This is the screen that you'll see upon finishing uh, Get Setup. I don't think we need to see the release notes. I just uncheck that, finish. And now I just want to show you that we have Git install. So we have chosen to add it to this start menu. We're going to use git bash, um, which is a command shell um, where we can run commands. Um, and I just want to type git and enter. And you'll see there a summary of uh, the different commands you can run with git. Uh, and that shows that git is installed. And we'll pick up in the next video with some of the things that we can do uh, with git.